Come with me, yes, come with me to dark towers. Who can tell what we shall see in dark towers? Dust and cobwebs everywhere, footsteps on the winding stair. Mystery is in the air in dark towers. In the garden, in the hall, through the arch behind the wall, come and listen to the call of Dark Towers. The story so far. Edward has seen the tall knight, but because the girl and the dog, Tracy and Towser, were not there, as the old legend said they must be, the tall knight has vanished again. Don't you understand? What do you hear when the tall knight is going to appear? A sound like thunder. Quiet. Listen. Do not fear, the tall knight knew you would come. It says in the old legend that one day a boy, a girl, and a dog would come and save the house from danger. Now listen. Go to the old library, and a gold key you will see inside the inside of the dark tree. But I don't understand. There isn't a tree in the library. What happened next? Someone overheard Edward and Tracy talking about the treasure. Who was it? The trouble is this clue. We're stuck, and we must find the treasure. And what did Miss Hawke say to Benjamin Bunce? Read it. What do you think of Miss Hawke now? Quiz time again. Which of these two things did the tall knight say to Edward and Tracy? Read them both out loud. Which are you going to choose? Do not fear. Yes, that's it. It'd be funny if the tall knight had said, do not hear. Oh, hello, word watchers. You know how the tall knight vanished after he'd given Edward and Tracy the next clue? Well, I can vanish too. Jenny, tell me to vanish. OK, Wordy. Vanish. I've vanished. <laughs> E-D at the end of a word means it's happened. Come back, Wordy. I'm oh. back. <laughs> What's next? Here we are. It's Bill the Bricky and his word wall. Do you remember the wall he built of words ending in ED? Well, we're going to see it again. You can sing out all the missing words. Why don't you build yourself a word? Build yourself a word with ED. To say it's happened. Take shout, add ED. And build yourself a word. All together now. Take turn at ED and build yourself a word all together now. Take ask at ED and build yourself a word all together now. Why don't you build yourself a word? Build yourself a word with ED. 
to show it's happened. We're going to play an ED game. We'll see how many words ending in ED each of us can get in 30 seconds. Not long. You guess the ED words too, word watchers. Jenny and I will give each other the letters at the beginning and end of each word and a clue to its meaning. If we get the word right, we'll put down an ED counter like this on the board. Right, Wordy. Your turn first. Let's start the clock. You ready, word watchers? Go! First word coming up. It starts with SH and ends in ED and makes a noise. Shouted. Quite right. Next word. It starts with L and ends in ED and you need your eyes. Looked. Jolly good. Ooh. Your turn now. Right, wordy. Ready, go. Uh, the first word begins with ST and it ends with ED and it means the same as begun. Ha, started. Right first time. <laughs> Next word starts with letter L and ends in ED and it's what happens after a good joke. Ooh, what happens after a good joke? Um, ah, laughed. Right. Ooh. Ooh. You've got two and I've got two. So it's a tie. Oh, did you read the ED words out? Well done. I feel like vanishing again. Down to my book cave. Bye. Oh. I'm listening. I'm listening for an owl inside a tower. Oh, here we are. Towser himself. Friendly dog Towser. Woof, 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 woof. And dog detective. I'm listening. I'm listening for an owl inside a tower. Here's Towser, here's Towser. He's growling at a flower. Oh. I'm listening oh. to Towser. Oh. I can hear him oh. howling. Yes, it's Towser oh. howling. Oh. A friendly dog. Called Towser, who says, Arf. and not Bow Wow. Arf. Bow Wow. Arf. Bow Wow. Arf. Oh, let's have that song again, because I like Towser and Dog Detective. I'm listening, I'm listening for an owl inside a tower. Here's Towser, here's Towser, he's growling at a flower. Oh. I'm listening oh. to Towser, oh. I can hear him oh. howling, yes it's Towser oh. howling. Oh. A friendly dog called Towser, who says, Arf. and not Bow Wow. Arf. Bow wow. Arf. Bow wow. Arf. Arf. Bow wow. Oh, a tower. Just what I always wanted. Oh, now I'm towering over the tower. Just feel my word watcher power. Pow! Ow. Who's there? <coughs> oh, tell me, who are you? Oh, he must have lost his voice. Can you read what he says, Word Watchers? I'm a little ghost. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Can you read it for me? I'm not sorry. I like being little. Well, I suppose you can have more fun if you're little, getting inside model towers and all that. 
Tell me more about yourself, little ghost. What did he say? Oh, no, I must go. Will you come back and see me next week? What did he say? Yes, all right. Oh, ha-ha, <laughs> thank you. Goodbye, little ghost. <laughs> well, just imagine that. I've seen a ghost. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> I must tell Jenny. I've just seen a ghost. A very little ghost. A mini ghost, in fact. Uh, Wordy, I think you've been reading too many ghost stories. You're imagining it. No, really, I did see a ghost. I did, didn't I? Oh, all right, Wordy, I believe you. I was just going to show the Word Watchers another ghost story. It's called A Ghost Named Fred. Have a look and see if this ghost looks like yours. Where's the ghost? I can't see a ghost. I thought you'd just seen a ghost. <sighs> Read us a bit. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, let's start in the middle, where the ghost appears. Uh, this boy, George, he's been playing at astronauts and he's gone into an old house to get out of the rain. Then he heard a voice behind him. Whoa! Well, where are you? said George. Right behind you, said the voice. Look here. George looked and saw two eyes. Who are you? He asked the eyes. Are you a ghost? Yes, the eyes replied. But I'd rather you called me Fred, and I still want to know what is on your head. What is on his head? An astronaut helmet. Oh. I wonder what happens next. See if you can get this book from the library, and then you can read the rest for yourself. Oi! Come on, Jenny. Let's get back to Dark Towers. Oh, yes, right, Wordy. Uh, here we are at uh, the end of Chapter 7. Hmm. Treasure will rest inside the inside of a studded chest. Oh, this must be the last clue of all, Edward. Only thing is, where's this studded chest? What sort of a chest, anyway? You've got a skinny chest, but have you got a studded <laughs> one? It must be something else, like a chest of drawers or a big box. Edward, this old house is full of big boxes. Do we have to look in them all? It must be something special. I know. We'll ask my father. Better ask him yourself. I'm not supposed to be here at all. I'm supposed to be a thief, remember? How's the carving coming on? Oh, it's all right. Looks a bit like the tall knight. What do you know about him? More than you think. Uh, a friend of yours, is he? Yes, he is. In a way. Ah. Tell me, hmm? have we got a studded chest anywhere? Yes, I've got somewhere. The old one. It must be hundreds of years old. Can you remember where it is? Oh, no. Uh, let's see. In a room in the old town. No one can open it, why? Nothing. I'll help you find it. Shall I? Thank you. You are the 
bird with a brown feather. Did you hear that, Father? Hear what? The friendly ghost, of course. Miss Hawk is the bird with the brown feather. We mustn't trust her. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, but I, I don't know what you're talking about. Is it a game? She must be a thief. And she knows where the treasure is. We've got to stop her. Oh, didn't you hear the ghost, Father? Edward, that's quite enough. I'm sorry. Edward gets some very silly ideas sometimes. Edward, tell Miss Hawke you're very sorry. Tracy and Towser were waiting for Edward in the garden. Tracy! Over here! We have to be quick. Miss Hawke is the bird with the brown feather. Oh, I should have got it. Hawk, of course. And she's heard about the chest, too. She knows where it is. In a room in the old tower. Well, we've got the key now. Come on. It was dark in the old tower. A dark old staircase winding up and up. Tower. Last chance for the dog detective. Find it, Towser. There. You found it. You Good found the boy. studded chest. You are a clever chap. Got the key, my lord. There we are. They both held their breath. And slowly, they lifted the lid. Just a moment, my dear. Well, well, well. It's our little thief again. Thief yourself. And her charming dog. Mm. Yes. Well, we must forgive you, because you've shown us where a nice little treasure is. Excuse me, please. There's nothing there. There must be. You'll never find the treasure, you thief! <laughs> Take that kid and dump her, and as for the little lord here... Let me talk to him. Somewhere quiet, like the red bedroom. I'm sure I can make him see sense. Bunce put Tracy in the van. Bowser ran after the van, but was soon left behind. Where were they going? Tracy didn't know. Yes, come with me to dark towers Dust and cobwebs everywhere Footsteps on the winding stair Mystery is in the air In dark towers In the garden, in the hall Through the arch behind the wall Come and listen to the call Dark Tower. 